All right, so in today's video, we are going to be watching a Diamond 2. I don't know if we've actually watched a Diamond VOD yet. So I did tell chat we'd be expanding our what we're watching a little bit more. So let's check out a Diamond game here on Dorado. I'll read the description here. They're, they're playing Tracer, Bastion, Genji, and Ash. I've seen a lot of Bastion. Description. This is probably the best game I've ever been in. I just recently solo queued my way to Diamond 2 where I felt like maybe I didn't belong in as I was struggling once I got to Diamond 2. The first round of this game was a typical round of Overwatch where we managed to squeak by and get the payload all the way during overtime. The second round was an absolute beatdown. We didn't win one team fight, and they just bulldozed their way and finished with 530 left for overtime. At this point, our Mercy was saying we weren't good, and they would rather go uh, eat their food than play with us. Uh, so overtime starts, and my team says we need a Genji. Keep in mind, I am no Genji player, but I figured that's what the team needed. I was willing to do it. We managed to get a decent push in overtime, but the team was saying, this game is over. They have five minutes and 30 seconds. We aren't winning. We didn't give up. The last round was a banger, and I won't give away any spoilers. P.S. My aim isn't great for a controller player, but I'm working on it. If you give this a watch, I would love your feedback, especially on my Genji gameplay, as I would love to improve on Genji, since Bastion is meta right now. All right, chat. We record these live on stream. Make sure to stop by the stream if you haven't. We have a ton of fun with these. Let's see how this Tracer does. It's a diamond game, so it's good to see, right? Like, I, we haven't seen too many diamond games. Diamond console at that. Hmm. I like how immediately the Mercy just gets rolled. Try and kill that pylon if you can, by the way. Like, that pylon, I know it does... Uh, that was a, a... Yep. Try to use your blinks a little bit more there, uh, and recall to make a bit more of a play. Not bad. All right, good job. Staying alive on point. Think about target, pr target, target priority. Oh, you got rolled by a fire strike. So far, this has been an interesting start, I must say. I will, I will say, be a little bit more wary about your cooldown usage and how you're using it. But so far, it's been, it's been okay. I, I still think you want to put a little bit more backline pressure on their team. So far, you kind of been playing like I would play like Soldier seventy six or Cassidy on this, right? You can pulse bomb the Rhine if you want to. You're a little bit lower for it. Nope. Well, I, I said backline pressure, and you really went for it. I also love how that Bastion's play was to sit there and wait as long as possible. Also, be careful that they can go into turret form and I think survive that. Um, if you went to their backline. I said go to their backline, and you went to their backline. That is for sure. Health pack. Play for health packs here now. So, the mistake you made there was you didn't think about where you wanted to go next. You just kind of did the play and was like, oh, well, that was fun. But, like, next time, I, I really think you want to play for health packs at that point. I think that will be a better play for you. And on to Bastion. No surprise. So, I do like the Bastion swap. I, I think Tracer there can be really difficult to get behind them on the high ground, especially when a team plays defensive. So, I do like the, the swap here. Oh, wow, what a treat. Big slam. Oh, you have a Roadhog, too? Should be an interesting attack. Also, it's good to see some turret form being used. We had a previous VOD where there wasn't much turret form being used. Um, oh, thank you for 19 months of Twitch Prime. Thanks, appreciate it. So this is good to see. That's a charge. Ah! I can't believe that worked. Are you kidding me? That Ryan went in there, like, from a distance, too. Oh, no, here they go again. Oh, good luck to that Ryan. Okay, that Ryan's having no fun now. Good luck. Yeah, that Ryan went from having an absolute blast to zero fun. Why are they peeking you? Oh, even better. Let's go. I love that they... I love that... Oh, yeah. I don't mind this. Get him off the high ground. I like how you didn't even kill the healing pylon. Like, that's the best part there. You didn't even get the healing pylon. You'd love to see how that goes. So, I, I, as you can see, the reason why Bastion... <laughs> It happens. The reason why Bastion is being picked a lot is Bastion's just a really good pick right now. Uh, Cozy J, thanks for the three months. That'd be just present. Thank you. Like, Bastion is just so much better than a lot of picks right now. So, like, sometimes you just go Bastion to, to go Bastion and have some fun. Because that's pretty much what's happening right now. 
That's pretty much what's happening right now, so. All right, so, I, usually I'd say go high ground, take map control. You're playing Bastion. You can sit on the card if you want. It's Bastion. That's Bastion right now. You just chill and vibe, and other team might make a play against you. They might not, and that's pretty much where we're at. I love the Bastion, like, peeking over, like, hi. All right, is your turret form done yet? No, not yet. They were like, they were like peeking over the like just a little bit, waiting for that moment. Listen, it, it, oh, I love that. Res into a big slam. What a treat for all of us that was. You know what? It happens all the time. And the Reinhardt's keyboard broke, or I guess controller because they said they're. I think this is a console game. Yeah, the, you gotta love the good old Bastion duels, right? You gotta love the good old Bastion duels. Good play. Yep. See that bash? That was gonna happen. Nothing like a Roadhog on second point Dorado to hook a bash down to the low ground to get the low ground. Oh, and, and the Ana. I love how my favorite part about that whole situation was they have high ground control. Your teammates get your hog just popped off, by the way. And your key and your controller broke. Okay? So the hog hooks somebody off the high ground. So the Ana goes, you know what? I am now also gonna peek that. Same type of way, and then you get hooked off the map. Your hog actually just won that team fight for your team. I'm gonna be honest with you, your hog just popped off. Straight up. That soldier had fun. Uh oh. Wait. This is, a, this is a tough. This is a tough point with your comp. I think their comp's gonna be a little bit better, but obviously we do know that you're gonna cap this. So I want to see how you cap this. As Bastion, I don't even like talk about high ground too much. I feel like Bastion's just so good. You just go into turret form and have fun. Oh wow, have fun! Ah, big slam. Honestly though, if you're on Reinhardt and you see a Bastion like that, you're probably gonna do the same thing. You know what I mean? Like you're probably gonna do the same thing. This is Diamond Two on console. All right, I'm ready for this. I'm excited. Here we go. It's time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember when that Ryan was having fun? Good luck against a Nano Bastion. This is Diamond 2. That's a Soldier. That's a Nana. Nice right click there. That was really good. You're kind of in a spot right now where you can't really... You just, like, stay on cart and hope for the best. You hear the Rhine, but the Rhine doesn't have Shatter, as you know after getting Shattered. One thing I do want you to be careful of there, though, is remember, it is overtime, so when you run away from the point, kind of like you just did, just, I don't know if it was communicated or not, but make sure it is communicated that you're staying on the point, because otherwise, that's how you get off the point. Your Hog is fine on point. You make sure your teammates are safe with the ultimate. Honestly, it's not a bad play. I don't mind it, so... Not a bad half. You did mention that, like, you had a really good attack. So, like, hey, why not, right? You're on Bastion again, because why not? Okay, you remember you said how you had a five and a half, like... So, this defense doesn't go well. Wait, this was mentioned in the description. I think it's because their comp right now is about to roll you. Is it every Bastion all the time? I'm telling you. Every time I see a Bastion ult, I have no way to go if that's a good play or not. It really just comes out of, hey, have fun. That's my reaction to Bastion ult. That is tough right there. Like, that's just my reaction to Bastion ult. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, he Bastion ulted. I do like you going for the Zarya there. Um, I don't like your position in after going for the Zarya. You kind of just went into the middle of the opens, and you know they have a Bastion, so when you do that, that's what happens. And you also mentioned that at one point your teammate was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm still gonna go eat some food. I'm curious to see. Okay, so, if there's a Bastion and you're playing Zarya, be very careful of running into a Bastion in turret form, because that's exactly what happens. But... Right here, I really do think that the Zarya Bastion combo is really difficult to play against. And while I do love playing Sigma, I think that if they have the Zarya Bastion combo, it can be a little bit more difficult. 
Not because Sigma is necessarily an awful pick here, but more along the lines of you just kind of run out of cooldowns eventually, especially if nothing happens. And that's what's going to happen to your Sigma. Keep in mind, your positioning, where you're at. Not a bad elder opportunity here. You gotta be quick with it, yeah. Took too long on that. Next time, if you're gonna ult like that, be like immediate, because you gave them too much time to get cooldowns back, and then got rolled by a Bastion ult. All right, here we go. The Genji swap here is a very interesting swap for me. Because are you going Genji to try to counter the the Bastion here? Because I I need you to look at like their whole team comp in general. I don't think you're gonna have fun on Genji right here. Just uh, on this part of the map. I really don't. I I, I I unless you can maintain that high ground right now, this is not gonna be a good time for you on Genji. Oh yeah, you're right. The Genji said to go Genji, excuse me. That makes more sense. I remember that now. During the description, the, the, Gen they, the, the other team said, go Genji. I remember that now. Oh, yeah, you're having a blast. Just to, just to remind people here now, because I, I just got reminded of that, too. The the, uh, the Genji's teams told them to go Genji, that they need to play Genji against that comp. I will say that certainly was not an ideal situation for your team. Okay, back to Genji again. So you were going to go Trace, so they told you to go Genji again. All right, here we go. I got the payload. Let's run. Escort the payload. Let's finish this quickly. Oh, he's being uploaded? Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. So they're doomed Dovin. Now you're on Genji. Okay, now, by the way, I will say, because they don't have a Zarya right here, I think your Genji will be a little bit better than it was on defense there. For Oh, well, as I say that, you'll go back to spawn, but you're going to get res, so don't worry about it. Uh, mainly because they don't have that Zarya, so you have a little bit more viability when you go into their team. Plus, their Doom is probably not going to be sitting back with their team, which gives you more viability. You know what? I think you know what went wrong there in that situation, so I don't even think we have to touch on that one. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even have to go... You know what? Listen. I think we know what happened right there. That is fine. It happens. Now, this is where I want to talk about this. So, chat's probably going, wow, five and a half minutes. I do want to point out that the team that has the less time if they win the first team fight, start to give themselves a bit of an advantage going into how far you push the cart. So, let me tell you why. Mainly because it's overtime spawns. So, they're going to have five and a half minutes of no overtime spawns, which means that every time, like, even if they get in the limb, you'll have quicker spawns. So, in this situation right now, you just got rolled. In this situation, the other team is in overtime spawns. So, every time you win or get a pick, they're going to take a lot longer to get a spawn, which means that there's going to be less team fights happening per point than for the other team until their timer runs out. So, you do have a slight advantage in that sense. Obviously, the disadvantage is not having the time that the other team does have, but if you win that, it allows for you to help. Um, it allows you to get those overtime spawns, and in doing so, the other team has longer spawns. Now, are you going to win right here? I don't know. Do you have Blade coming up? Yes, you do. Um... So, I will say, the other team does have quite a huge advantage now that they only have to push it this far. But keep in mind, though, keep in mind, you won't have the long spawns that they did. So, if you get a good defense rolling, then you might be able to hold this and win the game. So, we'll find out what happens. And now you're on Ash. I do like this a little bit better than the Genji pick. Obviously, you have five and a half minutes to hold this. But you did say that you, like, they told you to go Genji. Hey, you tried. Best thing I saw in Genji is a lot of it's just cold cooldown rotation. I think the, you said it yourself, like you're not quite used to playing Genji, so a lot of that just comes with practice on your mechanics, especially like just play close range right clicks and things like that. So let's see. Can they hold for five and a half minutes? Is it possible? Or will the other team roll them again after such a really bad defense that you had? In other news, um, that didn't go well. Mercy? Rez? There it is. Okay, here we go. Shoot the dynamite next time you get... Oh, well, you know what? I was going to say shoot the dynamite, but they decided to walk in it for you. So it ended up being a really smart play. 
Remember, reloading on Ash is much quicker now, too, which is great to see. Like, you might get some really good dynamites. I actually like this Ash swap. Like, low-key, this is a good swap because they're stacking really hard. So you might get some really good value dynamites against that team and then be able to rotate bombs. Good start so far. I, I will say your Ash has been pretty good. Next time I recommend Ash on defense. Like, the first time around. On Dorado. Or the next time he plays map. Wow, you actually got the Bastion with the Dynamite in general because they were so low on HP. Nice job, your teammates are doing a good chat. You know what, you know what, they... we've now officially hit the exact amount of time you would have normally on attack and how often do you full hold in this part of the map? It can happen. It is now very much even more possible. And keep in mind, you already said one of your teammates was like, I'd rather go eat some food right now than, than do this because you didn't think you could win. So, I'm just saying. Now you're at the point where this is the beginning of the map. You are at that four minute mark, which is how much time you have to start. Just saying, you can full hold on this map, so it's very possible. Huge! Let's go! Nice! Now the most important thing here is gonna be your ult usage, okay? One advantage this team does have, not only with the time, is being able to stack ultimates. No! No, there's no way! Are you, no, don't peek that! You have no HP! Stop standing there! They could have easily got you there! Listen, I know that just happened. I probably would have been losing it laughing too, but... You got at least you have no HP! Look at your health! And that, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what that Bob was. It'll probably get in the limb somehow, but... Of course it does. Why, why would it? Why, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't that Bob get in the limb? Right? Why wouldn't that Bob get in the limb? Also, I want to point out the time. We are now down at two and a half minutes on the clock. And remember when I said the other team has an advantage of being able to stack their ultimates? They've now wasted their ultimates and only have one ultimate left on Sojourn. And meanwhile, your team is building up ultimates again on the rotation. So, all I'm saying is this. Your team has a very, very large opportunity to win this game now. You can easily win this game now. There is plenty of time. And you have a little bit of wiggle room on second point. I don't mind that window. That's a good window. Nice shot. Oh, now they have a hog. It worked for your team. Will it work for theirs? Ha! We saw that. Don't worry, but it's okay. They stand in your dynamite for some reason, so you're fine. Nice shot. Nice. I gotta say, by the way, your Ash has been really solid. Next time around, if, like, the recommendation is Genji, I, I would actually say, try, I mean, recommend that your Ash is, like, a viable hero pick for you. And yet you would be more comfortable on Ash, because Genji's a little bit of a different... I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. Genji's projectile style and play can be a little bit different than the way that you want to play. So, I, I, I think that, like, your Ash has been significantly better than when you were on Genji. On Genji, it felt like you were just hitting buttons to hit buttons. On Ash, it feels like you know what you want to do, and you're playing with, like, purpose on how you want to play it, which is really good. Keep in mind, they are over ult in here, so don't be discouraged by losing this first team fight. They're going to have ultimates, and you're going to have to win this, and you also have a decent comp going into second point here. So at this point, it's okay that you lost that first team fight right there, like, finally. But you've also bought so much time for your team and opportunity to be able to win this game and try to take that dub from them that you're still in a pretty good spot, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, here we go. That's a dynamite. Oh, the Reaper ult! Chat, you know what? We have officially hit one more team fight to win this game. You now have it either or. The other team has a slight advantage, but let me, hear me out in this chat. While they do have Bob, Hog ult, and Sojourn ult, there's a sneaky ultimate you're about to have here, and that is window. Sometimes a window can be better than three ultimates if you window, if your teammate windows aggressively. Nice dynamite! There's the window! There it is! Oh, this is gonna be so close. The soldier. You got the soldier. Now you have Valk. And you're about to, oh, you're about to have an ult advantage. Wait a second. Oh, the trade. That's okay. They don't have res. Kill the pylon. Nice job. Uh-oh. Listen, if you hit a good dynamite here, you might get a bob that can win this game. And your teammate can res. 
Oh my. The Duomo on point. The Duomo gets the Arisa! There's a soldier! The soldier! You can bomb! 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 Don't! Don't! Just bomb! You won the game. Do something! And, and, and your teammates said you could not win because they had 5 minutes and 30 seconds and your team won that game. Good job continuing to give effort into that game. Because we saw a game earlier where a team had a Ryan on Circle Royale and they were like, you know what? We're just going to go a random comp here because they capped all the way. Your team had five and a half minutes to try and hold that for, and you held that for. Good job, good play, well played, good swap. I will say Genji does need a little bit of work. That is probably something that you can do like in quick play or understanding how you want to get your right clicks. We saw you a few times miss that. Your Ash gameplay was great. I would recommend Ash if you need a hero on maps with high ground. We record all these videos live on stream, so make sure to stop by the stream. Ton of fun, follow the stream. Sub to the YouTubes, all three of them. Bunch of awesome videos in there. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to submit your own video, submit your own spectating, look in the description below. That's where you'll see all my, like, my stream, Discord, etc. Follow everything on there, but Discord is where you can submit that and the spectating channel. With that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night.